Hello guys, welcome once again. In our last video, I have shown you how to retrieve your image from the database, SQLite database. So when you click the table, it will change your image for the respective employee. Today I will show you how to save the image with the help of save button so you don't have to go to your database again and again and save it, save the images from there so let's get started what you have to do first this is my attach button which is whose code or whose program I have shown you in the 49th video so if you don't know the program go there and see the program I right click it event action and action performed and this code I have written in that video so just see and copy that code here and I want to do just one thing I will copy this file name string file name because I want to make it global so I will delete string here and let it be here and I will go at the bottom of my program and in here after these declarations I will declare my string file name and is equal to null so my file name has become global now so it will be like this will convert into green color so you can understand that is has it has converted into global variable one more thing in here in the bottom you have to declare two more global variable one is int s is equal to zero and byte person underscore image is equal to null so declare these two variables also in the bottom so it will be declared as global variable and just go to your attach button action performed and after your path dot set text file name make a try catch block so i have already made my try catch block in order to save the time so you have to make this try catch block and inside this try catch block you have to write file image is equal to new file and semicolon close and just copy this file name variable and paste it in this here in the brackets okay then write sorry and write file input stream which is fis is equal to new I will copy it and paste it here and make it closed and copy this image variable and paste it in the bracket here so we have declared our input stream which will convert our image into binary stream and then you have to write byte array output stream we will name it as bus 
is equal to new the same name byte array on to stream and near and bracket closed okay this is showing some error let's see what is the error cannot find the symbol so I think I made some spelling mistake here I think here is A here is also A it's not the right spelling let's see what is the right spelling so I think it's the right spelling but I may have missed some imports so I will right click and click fix imports yes and now the error is gone so after this you have to write white buff is equal to new byte and inside the square brackets you have to write 1024 ok I think I have to add a square bracket here also and then we will make a for loop for condition now in the for loop you have to write a condition here int read num and then semicolon and in the bracket write read num is equal to fis which we have declared above dot read and one more bracket and inside bracket write buff ok and then after these brackets write which is not equal to minus 1 so I think this is our condition and add a semicolon also we don't need here third condition so in here you just write bos which is this binary output stream square brackets buf which we have defined here buf and is equal to new no sorry I have to write bos dot write write by this one so bos dot write buff comma zero comma read num which is this variable so in the for loop you have to write this and outside your try catch block you have to write or copy your variable from here which is byte person image we have de declared initially copy this and go to your code and after your try catch block paste your variable is equal to boss dot to byte array bracket and bracket close so write this but our 
code is showing some mistakes so I think we have to include this code inside our try catch blocks so I will do that and yes the error is gone so you have to write this code in order to convert your image into the binary stream of array and when you press your attach button your image will be converted into the binary stream of array now in the next video I will show you how to attach it with save action button perform because the time for the video is over now so please wait and see my next video and that I will show you how to connect it with the save button so you will be able to press the save button and save your image by attaching your image so for example when I run the program I will attach any image file anyone here and when I will press the save button my image will be saved so that's all for now uh, this tutorial I will show further save action perform in next tutorial so bye for now